Hello, Ni Hao. Our ecological engineering investigation will take us 13,000 kilometers away to the lost plateau of central China and understanding what they've done to mitigate the effects of soil erosion. The lost plateau is a vast expanse of land occupying about the same size as Texas. The region resides in a semi arid area that is primarily covered with deposits called lost soils. Loss is a homogeneous, porous, usually pale color soil that is typically formed from calcium carbonate. This is also where the Yellow River derives its name. The plateau experiences the most severe soil erosion in the world. In some areas, the average erosion rates are between 5,000 to 30,000 tons per square kilometer per year. To put this in perspective, that's about 1 to 200 pounds per square foot. Erosion from the Lost Plateau accounts for 90% of the Yellow River sediments and about 9% of the world's sediments to the ocean. Just as a fun fact, the Yellow River discharges more sediments to the ocean annually than the Mississippi, Mekong, Mackenzie, Yukon, Yangtze and Indus Rivers combined. Erosion in the Plateau has been occurring over a long period of time. The main causes have been human population increase or vegetation cover, as well as unsustainable herding and agricultural practices. Extensive soil erosion problems and fertility loss began as a result of actions commenced about 2,000 years ago. As populations began expanding greatly, more land was appropriate for crop production. and goat herding practices in the area also played a major part in soil erosion. The animals have high economic value in the area, but traditional practices allow them to roam free in the countryside. Eating habits of these sheep and goats are extremely destructive to the environment and exasperate the erosion problem. From 1994 to 2002, the government of China undertook the Lost Plateau Watershed Rehabilitation Project. This $150 million project had the goal of rehabilitating the environment as well as improving people's livelihoods in certain parts of the plateau. The goal of the project was twofold. First, increase agricultural production as well as the income of the farmer, and two, reduce soil erosion and sediment discharge to the Yellow River as this was a constant issue with flooding. This would be done in many ways focusing on soil and water conservation techniques and ecological engineering. The main methods by which this would be done were to halt unsustainable practices, mainly cropping on slopes with uncontrolled grazing, construct terraces and other sediment control structures, stabilize slopes with vegetation, increase forests, and plant crops on flat lands. So, what was the end result of all this hard work? There were many positive results that arose from the consequences of the Lost Plateau Watershed Rehabilitation Project. And most would argue that this project was considered a success. The project succeeded in improving the livelihoods and incomes of the locals, as well as reducing sediments to the Yellow River and its tributaries.